Let's put them back. So I'm going to tie a wee salmon flag called the, the Golden Gary. So the hook and the vice is a part of each Patriot double and size 6. Thread that I'm going to use is the Uni 380 white. Now you can you can use whatever thread you like. It doesn't have to be to be white. Now I'm just going to come in a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a few mil of thread. Remove your waist tag of thread. Now the tag in the rib is going to be a, an oval gold tinsel. I'm just using a oval gold in size 14. This is a Van Yards oval gold tinsel. I'm just working the thread down now until I'm in, it's really in line with the points of the hooks. And then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval gold on the last turn, bring it up and in between the, the two hooks. Then I'm just going to work the, the thread forward. Just keeping the oval gold tinsel in underneath. And we'll just fold this back. Just work the thread back there. We'll use this bit here for a rib. Now the body, just looking some gold light bright. Dead easy to dub this light bright, so you don't need to put it on too tight. Just sort of way to start with. Just get it started onto the hook. And then you can tighten up as you go. You don't want it to be too tight, you want it to be able to brush some of it out anyway. So, so another will do really. Take some of the excess away, fold the whatever wants to go forward to the eye back. Get a couple of turns in front. Then come up with your come up with your rib. And you're going four turns. The oval gold tinsel up the body. Catch that in, then we can trim this way. Now you come in with your Velcro, just, just touch it. Bring some of it out into the, into the pattern. That's going to swim really well now. It's in the water. First part of the wing, you're looking some sunburst her you can use anything that you've got guys this is just uh, foxtail that I'm using just get a wee bit off just clearing out some of the, the rubbish The length of the wings up to you, sort of way the, the length of the hook, because we've got some longer guard hers here. So that's going to do me there. Let's come up and round with a pinch and loop. And just have a wee check, see what way you're, what way you're sitting. I've enough of that, so just come in and trim away the waist. Favor here, take that away too. Then on top of that, you're looking some red hair. Yet again, this is just some fox I am using. Use Arctic Runner, whatever you've got. Bucktail, it'll all work. Now, I don't want the red to be longer on the, the sunburst. You're just looking to wee pinch of the red on, basically. Or that's up to you too. You might like more red. So I'm just going to trim that away. Now I'll just tidy up over the cut ends here. Just tighten everything up. Nice and tight. Now I want to put some flash into the wing. So I'm just going to use some of the, the light braid again. So just take a pinch of it. it in a couple of turns, fold the access back. Now you can use the light brake like this, the odd flash into your wings, or if you've got the likes of angel hair or stuff like that, you don't have that. So just come in and just trim it out. Just trim it all up. 
that's the, the flash. So, the hackle, the first hackle I should say, you're going to badger, dyed yellow. So, I'll just get one off here. up to the hook, just come around with a couple of turns, fold the tip back, just three turns up over the top of the tip and the haggle, then you can break it away, come in with my scissors, I'm tying these for a friend, and he likes plenty of flesh in his fly, so I like this wee pattern tied with the pearl uh, light bright on the wing. So two or three turns of the badger haggle at the front. Just follow this around with your thread. A couple of nice tight turns to secure that in. Trim away the waist. Then the, the front one, the front haggle. You're going to badger dyed blue. Now this wee fly is also good tied um, with the lace wing haggles, which is the the hen haggle equivalent of the this here, the cock. Oh, just catch this in. Yet again, the friend that I'm tying them for, he doesn't like hen haggles, so he prefers the, the cock haggles. Needs their own. It's just the way it is. So we'll double that up and break away the tip. Just come in with my scissors again. Stroking back the fibres. And then just one turn in front of the other. Two turns of the blue should be plenty here. Let's go number ground there. Follow this around with a thread. It's nice and tight now. With the thread turns, and then I'm going to come in and nip away the, the waist of that. Right. Looks like a bit of a mess at the moment, but we'll get that sort of Just fold everything back. Nice bit of thread down at the front. It is a wee sparkler, like, it'll show up well in the water. Then, just to finish off, we're looking some jungle cat. So we'll get two nice eyes here from the cape. I've usually got these off to be fair when I'm going to do a video, but I just forgot. So two eyes. Just break them apart and just get them lined up. Come in and hold the two eyes. Stroke back the fibres that you don't want or don't need. Just offer this up to the up to the hook. Then just come in, just position them where you want them. Now sometimes they move, but that's okay. These are just loose turns of of thread, just to see what way we're what way we're sitting. I want to check the length. Just have it, just always double check. Right. I'm happy enough with that. So I'm just going to come in and hold the two eyes. Tighten up, heading down towards the hook. Come in and just whip back the, the stems of the jungle cock. And tie up over the, tie up over the top. Just building your head up here at the same time because we're just going to use a, a mirror flash at the head, now keeping your thread tight and come in and break away the, the stems. Now, just come in and bring everything back that wants to go forward. Now the, mirror, the flash at the front on the head, it's, it's up to you, this is just some blue, it's got a tin, tinge of blue, see it in the light there? The mirror flash. You don't have to put a, a pearl head on it. So 
this is the easiest way to do it that I think. So just tie in the, the pearl, building up your head at the same time here, but keeping your thread tight. Find your whip finisher. Just throw in a whip finish. Keep your tan thread tight. Come in and trim away your waist thread. Right? Then just get your super glue and rub it. Just give it a lick on the side that's going to contact the head. And then I don't know, two, three, four turns should be plenty to there. Just keeping a hold of it to stretch it. And then just come in and clip it. Then come in and just take away any excess because you're going to super glue over the top and varnish anyway. Then come in with your super glue. Just a wee touch the whole way right round. Then what I like to do, because the super glue will want to naturally with the head being a wee bit steep, just come in and clean that away. And there you go guys, that's the the golden carry. So hopefully you can tie a few of those up. That's a good fly, um, that for spring fish. I like it, I tied for myself, but I tied in the smaller sizes, size 12. Um, I've had a few nice fish on it in size 12. So look guys, hopefully you have got something from that. It is a wee sparkler, there's no doubt about that. But that's just the way my friend wants it tied. Um, I have tied one myself, but I don't like as much flesh. I do like flesh, but just not as much. So, you can tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. Um, well, what's left of the Atlantic salmon, because we've completely ruined it. Anyway, until the next time, please stay safe, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.